This is going to be a quick video on how to install a dash cam on a car. Now this one is installed normally through the cigarette lighter. As you can see it just plugs straight in there, no modifications necessary. This is the rear view uh, dash cam. Um, I prefer this one because you don't have to take it off and it doesn't look um, like you've got one on from the front. I will show you how to hardwire it and also any faults and problems that I've come across. Okay, so first you'll need to identify what fuses you have in your car. If you go to your fuse box and pull a fuse out, uh, you've got micro fuse, you've got mini fuse, you've got a normal fuse, depending on what you have. Uh, now, all you need to do is buy one of these piggyback uh, fuses. You'll see there's two spaces for two fuses here. Um, one is your original fuse and one is the piggyback fuse, so you won't actually interfere with any of the car's internal wiring also you'll need to buy a hard wire kit for the actual dash cam that you have now you just got to again make sure it's the right connection you've got this one which is for the next space dash cams and then different ones depending on which uh, dash cam you have um, once you've got these two bits you also will need to check your memory card now you've got 32 gigabyte which is good for uh, about four or five hours recording um, and then you've got 128 which is good for like a couple of days recording depending on how much you record and what your video resolution is set to okay now with the memory cards you've got to make sure you've got a a genuine memory card not a fake one unfortunately you won't be able to tell from the packaging uh, all the packaging looks exactly the same everything is the same down to the serial numbers down to the barcodes everything um, the only difference is on the actual memory cards so these ones are both original and if you look on there the writing is in a specific angle this SanDisk one has a, um, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but a green sheen on it uh, with a circuit board. This is a Samsung Evolution memory card and it's fake. If you look at the way it's written, it goes round that way while the other ones are different. So this is the hard wiring technique. As you can see, the wire goes up through here down here there's a little hole just above here on the actual most cars I've seen you can tuck the wire just in there go down there go down the A pillar down to the bottom you don't have to take anything apart just follow the wire it just goes in here under here and into the fuse box so the fuse box is just here again all you have to do is remove one fuse as you can see the red wire and piggyback it and then all you have to do is put an earth lead you'll need an earth lead so this is the plus and then you've got the minus lead you just ground that at any metal terminal on your car and you shouldn't have any problems with it um, so when you turn the ignition on your dash cam comes on unfortunately this one has been dropped a few times so you can see the screen is absolutely knackered but it's still recording and it does the job the only problem you will get is obviously if you wire it up incorrectly you need to wire it up to a fuse that actually comes on with the ignition so you can wire it up to the cigarette lighter fuse if you look on the back of your car you will have a um, a little diagram which one will tell you which fuse does what and as you see the third one on from the right on the second row is the cigarette lighter and it's a 15 amp fuse um, you generally can use 10 to 15 amps it doesn't matter but um, most of the dash cams uh, say from 10 to 15 amp um, and then that's it simply just plug the wire in there under the fuse remove one of these fuses plug the fuse in earth it ground it and then run the cable all the way up and down that's it that's simply all you have to do so again just make sure you've got the right memory card so in this case I've got 128 on 1080p recording that gives me about three days recording um, 
this one is a sand disc you can get the ultra or you can get the gold it really does not make a difference um, as long as it's a legit me a memory card next to any memory card you put in but just look for the actual video um, memory cards or anything what says video or photo like it says on here so it's faster mobile performance for full HD video you can get the gold one if you've got the money to spend and then once you've got the um, memory card inserted all you have to do on this particular memory card slot is right on the bottom here so don't know if you can see it just put the memory card in here push it in it clicks now every time you get a dash cam every time you remove your memory card you need to actually format it so if you go into the settings click OK to stop it from recording go into the menu button press menu again go down to format memory card click OK and then format the memory card and then that's good to go make sure you always format the memory card if you don't format it you can cause problems um, and then just simply press the menu button and then press the record button and that's it you're good to go now if you'd like to edit the software you can basically get this Nextspace software for free off the internet and then you just simply export and import your your files and your videos to here and then you can click on it and then you can play the video and then you can edit it you've got the GPS location your speed you've got all the bits on the bottom acceleration braking and stuff like that you can also edit the video so you can go in edit the video you can end the start point the beginning point and do all the formatting you can also remove the voice if you'd like to so you just go in here go in to click here to continue you can edit the start point by dragging this here and then edit the end point by dragging this bit here Oops. and then you can do continue and then when you've got your video you continue again and then you can add a caption if you need to or you can remove the GPS data uh, the sound and everything and then you just click confirm and then it will make your video anyway I hope this helps out this is video for Craig Paul Austin Darren Conrad any other comments please let me know thanks bye